Hello everybody, my name is Wachara, and this is City Game Studio, episode 2 of my Let's Play. Episode 1, I released 4 games, Ghost Stories, my very own Walrus, Steam World, and Monster Farm. All RPGs, because that is the only thing I can make as of this point. Um, in order to unlock a new game genre, I need to make 2 more games. I need, in order to organize my own convention, I need, um, you know, 97,000 plus more fans. I need another 100,000 or so to hire more staff, so... There's nothing to it but to make another game or two or well definitely two so um self-publishing let's pick our theme uh, so we want something as nice high nice high number here cyberpunk we've already done steampunk medical we're, this is an rpg though right so we got to kind of i try to find something that matches though right like like music rpg I don't know about that. We do mythology, but it's, you know, it's trending in the wrong direction. Problem is most of the things that's, that are high, other than cyberpunk, archaeology, eh. Or maybe I'm overthinking this. Ooh, medieval. I know it's going down one, but still 57. Medieval works. Lord of the Mahjong. Let's go Lord of the... Lord of the Times. Lord of the Medieval Times, right? Game engine, internal engine. <laughs> you can't, oh, can I make an engine? Well, let me make an engine. Internal, free and open source, proprietary. Let's just go internal. Yeah, we can't actually, oh, wait, can we add stuff? Oh, we can add stuff. Ooh, 3D graphics, monochrome color. Leaderboards, password base saves. Is this worth my time? I don't know if this is worth my time. I'm going to do it though. Yeah, why not? All right, let's take it off pause here. How long is this going to take? Eh, not too bad. Pretty quick. And again, I have no idea if this is going to be a good idea, but. We're experimenting. This is a very experimental run. This is not like, you know, my Mad Games Tycoon 2 Let's Play, where I have a ton of experience in that game. All right, so Monster Farm looks like is off the market. Made me cool. Almost 40K. Gained eight fans. I'm going to call that a win. Blender Studio is my oh, game name. I assume that means engine name. Can I change the engine name? No. All right, so we created the game engine. That has, ooh, we can port a game once I have two platforms. Okay, so we need to make a game. Okay, wait, what's going on? What's it telling me to do? Auto upgrade computers. Auto upgrade computers company wide. All right, so I have a better computer now. So I assume that either lets me work faster or maybe more points. I don't know. Either way. All right, so Medieval. Oh, Medieval went down by seven. <laughs> That's minus seven, but it still says 58. So is it 58 minus seven then? Like, is this the base and this is the trend? Cyberpunk went down. Evolution, Dragon, Mythology went up. Yeah, let's do a Mythology. Mythology RPG. We'll call this Valhalla. Olympus. Valhalla versus Olympus. There. The Battle of the Gods. I know it doesn't really make sense for an RPG, but <laughs> is what it is. Okay, so Blender Studio, that's mine. That's my uh, engine. Um, is the Ulysses still... Oh, there is... Wait. Oh my god, there's a bunch of other... Wait, are these actually out? I think it is. Ooh, five compute, two graphics. Well, this is the best one. 15K license. Oh, it's got a huge market share. Yeah, let's go up to Watagi 2600, a.k.a. the Atari 2600. All right, yeah, we got way more points to play with here. This is going to be good. It's going to make the game better, I think. All right, nice. All right, dreams come true. A new console has just been released. You can release a cross-platform game. Let's go. Try it out. 
You can port your games to new platforms. All right, I will, but first I gotta design this game. All right, so that's good, that's good. Okay, so this one's more precise now. Let's lock that in. All right, so we can go 3D graphics. I mean, it costs the same amount of compute points, so I don't know why we wouldn't. We'll include basic dialogue. This is an RPG. I feel like dialogue would be, would be important, right? All right, so let's hit this, announce the game. Get some hype. We can talk to the rest, publish a demo. Let's just talk to the press. And yes, somebody pointed out in the comments that I was not hitting that button and they were correct. I wasn't, I forgot. So thank you for that. <laughs> All right, everything looks good here. Password based saves. I'm actually not gonna do that because there's something in the next thing that costs two, if I remember correctly, right? So everything looks good here though. Um, yeah, because so we have two points left. I forget what it is, but I'm pretty sure there's something to cost two in the next one. Yeah, leaderboards. So that gets us five and five. Okay, optimization needs to be here. Ooh, that's at the very lower edge. So let's put it more in the middle. Leave artwork where it is. Next, okay. Yeah, we got, uh, we're up to 19% height, which is good. I mean, I didn't hype my last three games at all. I hyped the game that um, the tutorial told me to haven't since all right so steam world's off the market fairly profitable gain five fans um it was an excellent match the genre and the genre and platform all right when is the sequel somebody wants a, a sequel to monster farm they've been playing it for over two years now and we wish you guys would make a sequel i will get on that we absolutely love this game and are going to play it for years to come but if you make a sequel now we'll buy it and tell our friends about it so please make a sequel. Um, well, I will, but I'm I'm in the middle of a game. Sales report. Uh, hello, which are I know how much you love my emails. Oh, absolutely. So here we are. Since we can see good sales, I did some calculations today. We're going to talk about sales of SteamWorld. Today's a great day. SteamWorld to see an 11 percent bonus. Okay. Cool. All right. So this is done. Let's release it. Go ten dollar price tag. Did we finally get fifty nine points? Fifty seven and fifty nine. Really? Oh my god! I've had I had fifty eight to fifty nine. <laughs> Let's do the game report. Ooh, ooh! This is oh, this is my best reviewed game by far. Eighty seven is my lowest. Some of my other games, eighty seven was my highest. All right, good, 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 good an excellent mythology rpg game i try new combos and it works for them nice all right so did they do the game report already or a video game under another platform wait okay so studio home okay so what wait is this the only game i can port no platform, um, so we can port it. Oh, I don't, well, let me port this. No, because it doesn't have enough capabilities. Oh, we could port to this. It's not out yet though. That's a lot of compute capabilities. Yes, okay, so we can't actually port yet, right? So, um, it was a Steam World or Monster Farm? Check my letters. Oh, um, wait, where's Monster Farm? They want a Monster Farm sequel. Let's give them, let's give them what they want. Monster Farm. Monster Farm 2. Indie. This will be for the Watagi. Um, the Blender Studio. Yeah. So this will be good because this will, will unlock new genres with this one, right? So at what point do we want to announce it, I wonder? Ooh, we're up over 700,000. Wait, I have, okay, so this says I need 500,000 to unlock that, but I have 700, oh, is that how much I've made? Maybe? Maybe that's like how much I've made? Your studio is growing, producing more games, improving its quality, but first you need to recruit, all right, there we go. Keep in mind that the best games are produced by teams, as strong in design, development, and polishing. 
Video game producers boost employees' productivity and allows you to create AAA games. Human resources boosts employees' happiness, and you can customize employees' schedules. Hiring an accountant will help you saving on taxes. Oh, yeah, well, taxes are bad. That's, so we want to do that. Time, to, time now to have a stylish office redecoration. While you're looking at one of your studios, you can now buy new furniture. You are now feeling boxed in your little studio. Go get your next location. Allows renting new buildings. This will allow you to work on several projects at the same time. Ooh, several projects at the same time. This is going to get spicy. Studio's growing. It's time to study the market and have a peek at the competition. You can see your competitors on the city map. Now you can watch them. All right. Okay, there's a lot going on right now. There's a lot happening. <laughs> so let's go. Okay, so we got 3D graphics monocolor. We got basic dialogue. Everything looks good here. All right. So... List offices available. List of video game companies. Um, list of offices available in town. So, wait, it cost me millions of dollars? Um, yeah, I cannot afford any of these. Are you kidding me? I have 700000 in the bank. This one's $23 million. Right? <laughs> Buy price, rent price. Oh, so we can rent? We don't need to buy, we could rent? Huh. Assuming I should? But I want a bigger one. Wait, I don't understand. Okay, so this one is 2.63K a month. It's 78 cubic meters or square meters. This one is like five or four times as much, but it's like smaller? That doesn't make sense. Can I see it? Like, can I do a preview? Zoom, sell, rent. I don't know. I feel like rent this one. Holy crap. Auto furnish mode. Auto furnish. Um, yes, auto furnish is good. Auto furnish mode. Holy crap. That's a lot of desks. This is probably bigger than I'm. This is definitely bigger than it needed to be. I may have just made a mistake. Like, am I going to be able to afford this long term? All right, list of video game companies. Minis. That's it. That's oh, East Force, Snowstorm, Zong, and UID Hardware. All right, good to know. All right, list of candidates for hire. Developer, just me. <laughs> And that's my staff. All right, so developers. So we got people that are good at development. Okay, so you're good at development. So probably maybe hire one of each. So hire Annika, hire Don, and hire Tyrone. Right, that way we have a designer, we have a developer, we have a polisher. I don't know if that's like too much though, right? Hire, hire higher that is an interesting sound <laughs> um producer productivity bonus okay so this person has a negative productivity bonus um, yeah i don't know i feel like <laughs> i'm not sure if doing all these people is a good idea like my monthly expenses just went through the absolute roof right So sign, sign, sign. Do I want to move Glucera over? Do I want to leave him there? All right, so buy, uh, replace desks and upgrade computers. Auto upgrade. Okay, uh, just spend a bunch more money. <laughs> buy furniture and stuff your office. I've kind of already done that. Studio list. Okay, so it's easy to switch back and forth at least. Like, quite easy. So, I can make a new game here. Wait, did I not unlock? What? Oh, I need to release that other game before I get an extra genre. Right? So, will they work on this? 
All right, let's take it off pause. All right, human resources. Assign a human resources manager to manage your employee schedule and pay raises. Your dull walls are sapping your productivity. Time to redesign it. You can repaint the walls, change the posts, and redo the floors of your studios. All right, so... Walls. Oh, yeah, that's fancy. More money gone, though. <laughs> Um, all right, so how do I sign my human resources? Wait, I thought I had one. Did I not hire one? Maybe I didn't hire one. Didn't I hire? I thought I hired one of everything. None of these have a positive happiness bonus, so that doesn't seem very good. Ooh, console development. We're a ways off, off of that. Yeah, I hope I'm not expanding too fast. I really hope. Auto assign employees. All right, okay, so they're there. Producer. Okay, there's human resources. Staff, human resources. Oh, they're there, okay. I guess I just need to sit them at a seat at a desk. So I still have room for one, two, three, four, five people here. I could move myself over. Let's get this hype going. Publish a demo, because why not? The way I've been spending money, let's just keep spending it. <laughs> um, Are they actually, are they helping? I don't think they are. Or are they? think so um yeah so let's just go mono sound but i want to finish this game first because i want to make a different genre i'm sick of making rpgs right how fast are three people going to be able to make a game i might just move myself over to here though right um my own walrus my very own walrus is off the market superhero is not a great theme it's only good So why is this just kind of, yeah, I was going to say, it just seems to be in limbo. All right, so leaderboards is good. Everything appears to be within the ranges. Lots of hype for this because of the demo. Right, I feel like that's more hype than we're used to seeing. All right, so let's release this. And then we'll have a new genre unlocked. Oh, oh, yay, over 59. Way over 59. Nice, that's good. And, oh wow, this is... The reviews are not great. The reviews are not near as good as that last game. Huh. That's weird. I have a great team. They shine on all sides. Try a new combo and it works for them. It's an excellent fantasy RPG. Alright, you've gained experience in making games. You feel ready to develop new game mechanics. You can now unlock new game genres. To earn experience points, you just have to publish games. Contracts are now available. Completing a contract gives you money, experience, and tips for a specific game genre. Okay. All right, so let's go to the big studio here. All right, new types of games. Oh, wow, there's like a whole thing. Um. Oh, this is interesting. I like this. So I have 108 genre points. Hack and slash. So these are all things that go off RPG, right? So dungeon cost 10. Crook like, aka roguelike. Dungeon crawler, but that's cost more than I have. Action RPG costs a fortune. Tactical RPG also costs a fortune. So we could also do casual. We could do action, sim, puzzle. We want to stick with RPG. A lot of thing goes off sims. Look, like look at this. Branches to here, then to here. Oh, man. Oh, I wonder what this one is. Oh, City Builder. Oh, you can even see what the locked ones are. That's way over here. Submarine, train. Very specific stuff, right? They get specific. Ooh, racing Sim. So, so is sports not a genre? Maybe sports is after action? No. Oh, so is there no sports? 
I mean, that's fine. It's just, I'm just surprised other than racing. Yeah, looks like there's no sports games. Unless it opens up later, maybe. I don't know. All right, so, I mean, you know what? I can do two games. I could do, let's grab, let's buy simulation. It's only 15 points. Oh, there's sport. Sports is right here. <laughs> and let's do hack and slash. Let's unlock that. And that's good for now. So here we will make a game of contract. So this is for RPG. Eh, I mean, well, there's a bunch actually. Oh, they're all for RPGs. I just feel like I don't need a lot of RPG tips, right? Like I'm pretty good on RPGs already. Um, all right, so acquired points eight, what does that mean? Oh, so this is, we're not actually making a game here, right? Like we're not doing the whole game. So let's just do this, see how long this takes. And then at home, make a new game. No, you know, let's do a contract here as well. That's quite a bit of money. I don't know, I'm, oh, gotta switch to, wait. How do I, well, it doesn't let me pick home. What if I make a game doesn't let me pick home? Hmm. All right, well, there's, or I guess, no, it's already selected the Gugniak. So what can I do here then? <laughs> can I port a game? So is there any reason to have myself still here? I can't seem to do anything. Cops selling games. Ooh, Valhalla versus Olympus is number three. So oh, I hey, I have the highest stars so far. Nice. So should I just move myself? Oh wait, <laughs> never mind. He's doing the contract work. I did not realize. I thought, never mind. Okay, sorry. I screwed up there. That's on me. That's on me, folks. So, self-publishing. Um, let's go with... We do a hack and slash or we can do a simulation. Let's try simulation. Now, we. I think I have, like, no information about this. So, producer will be Brittany Miller, accountant will be Wes Nicholas. Still don't have a network administrator or marketing manager. That's fine. We will use our game engine. Probably do the Watagi. Ooh, the Ulysses 2 is out, actually. But it has, like, no market share. Yeah, I'm going to stick with the Watagi. I mean, yes, this has a little more compute capabilities. We can include the password saves, but I'm going to stick with the Watagi for now. Um, oh, wait. <laughs> Currently, it's RPG and Sim. I want just sim. I want to try just sim. Um, what works for simulation? What's trending well? Cartoon? Sure, we'll call this Toon Time. Um, Mutagi, Cartoon, Studio, or Game Engine is right. Studio is right. Requires, re requires five employees for this. I think I can actually know it won't let me actually pick this yet. And that is okay. All right, so start. Yeah, okay. All right, so, oh, we actually do apparently know some things about how to make a simulation. I'm surprised by that, but I'll take it. <laughs> we don't know a lot, but we know some. All right, so is this going to be done in time, the contract? Hi, I am Bruno Trigger. Every Wednesday, I host a show, 3615 Dorian, about independent video games. As a big fan of Monster Farm 2, I'd like to ask you a few questions for our big game night of RPG. Do you have five minutes? Of course. I dream of embarking on the adventure of independent game development. Being my own boss and responding to a loving, caring community, what a dream. Our small community being fans of RPG games, what do you think we should focus on if we want to make a game? Characters. Oh, well, that's it? Okay. Okay. 
So what so what does this mean? I gained a character tip then? Did I make all that money? Looks like it. Alright. Oh, somebody loves Monster Charm too. It's breathtaking. Graphics, gameplay, music, everything is so perfect. You have become masters in the art of making games. Everyone was so happy with the sequel. In fact, I bought it ten times to give it all to my close friends and family. You people are the best. Thank you so much, the seller player. Thank you for buying all those things. Oh, I forgot to attend the con the um convention. I still can, I think. Um, let's go with four. That costs 87k. You know what? We can attend, we can afford that. Um, do I get to pick? Automatically participate. Do I get to pick which games? All right, so he's not doing anything here. Do another contract, I guess. Right, makes sense. Design, simulation, that'll be good. They'll give me some tips for simulation. This is a lot of money though. Mm, if I lose. All right, so I need 16 points, I got six weeks. So it's February. Let's see how that goes. Oh, he's, oh, okay, four points at a time. Be close. Our expert Dorian agrees, and so does the 3615 Dorian community. Monster Time 2 is the nugget we've all been waiting for. Nice. Sales boost. It's going to be close. Did I make it? I did not make it. Oh, I did make it. Whoo. Or wait, did I? Yes. <laughs> um. So, looks like I gained a graphics tip and a gameplay tip. I'm assuming that's what the plus one means there. All right, but that was close. We were really close to not making it. All right, so development. Um, let's include password. No, we don't want to include password-based saves. We want to include the thing that costs two in the next screen in the polishing phase, right? And let's hype this up. Let's release a demo. Or do we want to do advertising? I have lots of money. Let's run an advertising campaign. Let's see what that does. Maybe I should have done that a little earlier <laughs> in retrospect. Contract and make ping pong. We have four weeks to get nine points. I think that's doable. I think that's doable, I hope. Fingers crossed. Spontaneous job application. Hello, Yo Suzuki. I came across a very exciting position on your job portal that I believe fits me perfectly. After reading the job description and requirements matching with my own experiences, I know that it would be a valuable asset to your organization. I recently graduated with a Bachelor of Science degree in Computer Engineering from the University of Mars. Oh, the University of Mars. That's where I went. In my imagination, just like you. Um, <laughs> I now want to apply my skills in a company like Lucerasoft. As an engineer, I can implement engineering concepts to design innovative and ingenious products for consumers. I would love to talk to you in more detail. 35% um, in all three? That seems good. Let's hire you. All right. Just revealed my new game, Tune Time. Fans are excited. All right. Uh, let's go and assign Yo. Okay. Perfect. We're gonna get this done in time. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. That's a lot of money considering how much work it takes. So it looks like we got a character tip. All right. So we can do more contract work. I don't see why I wouldn't. Um. So wait. I can pick <laughs> which one I do. I guess we just do this one then. Six weeks, get 11 points. Yeah, that's doable. That's very eminently doable. Yeah, done already. Yeah, quick 100K. But I mean, I'm assuming these contract works just wear out eventually. Ooh, okay, so wait. Displays the workload to distribute to your employees. A workload that is too high or too low will affect the quality of the games produced. To achieve an excellent score, the workload must be within the white area. All right, so we got too much going on. Let's take away some artwork. I mean, take away a little bit of everything. There. Let's add leaderboards. Okay, so that gets us up to the max compute capabilities. You are working, right? Yes. All right, ghost stories off the market. Made 50k, gained 14 fans. Ghost is not a good theme for RPG. It's an okay match. 
but only are okay. All right, so you're freed up again, huh? Yeah, let's do another contract where we've got 15, oh, 177 points. No, that's too much. I mean, I know it's 15 weeks. Maybe if I do my other place, <laughs> I could do that. Um, did I create? Oh, yeah, I could do another engine. Like joystick support is new. 2D graphics, 8-bit colors is new. Okay, so let's do that at home. This will be by a proprietary engine with, say, 5% royalties. Sure. Call this the awesome engine. Team engine create. Ooh, no, let's update the Blender Studio. Let's make it proprietary. And, okay, did we actually add joystick support? Yes, okay. Update, okay. That's good. I think that's good use of his time, right? I would say. I'm really interested in see how good this game is. Look at the hype. A lot of hype. It's maxed hype. All right, so pay raise. List of employees have increased at least one level in one or more areas of competence and received a salary increase. Me and Annika Davis. Cool. I'll take. That's fine. And release. Should definitely be over 59. Oh, my God. Just destroyed 59. Almost 159. Easy peasy. Do the game report. Yes, please. And it's garbage. I do not understand why this is so bad. Um, yeah, I don't know. If you know why this was such a bad game, let me know in the comments. Um, yeah, I, I got nothing, folks. I don't know why that was so bad. Is what it is, I guess. Anyway, um, I'm well over the 30-minute mark here, so... I'm going to end the episode here. Time flies when you're having fun, right? Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Shout out to my patrons. Couldn't do it without them. If you want to support me on Patreon, links in the description down below. Most importantly, though, be good to each other. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.